In this video I will make some modifications on this PCB. So I have listed here some things that has to be changed on this. So first I will change this spacing between temp sensors. So if we look from here, for well this it says 1.2 millimeters, but there it is much less. So I will adjust this so that there is almost 2 millimeters between all these connectors. So first we will open this PCB from here. And from here we can adjust this. So from here we can move it somewhere there. And I can select all these and then from here this align and then I will use this this one. So now they have all same spacing. And I can save this. And then we have this connector holes, meaning all these holes here and there. So I will change them. So now we have to open this library. And then we can search these components. So it is this and these connectors. So I will first change this. So from here, I can select all these that's and now I can click this inspector and change this diameter I mean this drill size so I will change it one millimeters and as we have this auto diameter here so it will adjust this also so that is done and I will do this also here now. So by that I mean this layout here. So I will make it a little bit bigger like that. And now I can save this. And now I will make the same thing for this smaller connector. So I will open this layout from here. And then I will again select all those pads and change it to one millimeter. And I will also make this drawing bigger. Like that. And we can save this also. And now to update all this, we have to search for these connectors and dra drag them there. So there is this one. And then this smaller connector. So here is this. I can also double click that connector so it will update. And now they should be both updated. And I can save this semantic. And after that we can go to this PCB. And we can see... There is this new patch. Now we can make this here so they are not too close, those patch.
something like that and then we have also modified this a little bit Okay, so we have to delete this line from there. So now they should be all correct. And we can also save this. Then we can use this push to the 3D model. So now it updated and we have this most more spacing here. And from here we can select this package and we can hide some of these and we can see that there is this new drawing and that hole. So they are coming from there. And here is this, and it looks like they are correct size now. And from here we can see that this pad is not correctly aligned with this. So we can use this inspector tool and click from there and select this. And from here we can use this, so we can see that that's 15.5. And then if we measure to here, we have to select this dot from there. And then and again this one. And we can see that this only film 12.5. So it's like three millimeters more on this right side. So I will move this one, 1.5 here. So it should be correct position. So now I'm in this PCB layout. And so this one should be 27.5. And now it should be in correct position. And I can save it from here. I will close that one and <clears throat> I will make this push to 3D model. And now we can save this 3D model. And after saving this new one, after saving, I can I can go here and then update all these components. So now this patch should be more here, and we can confirm this by from there, and then measuring this. So it's 14 now, and then we can select this one, and this one should be also 14. So it's also 14. So that's correct now, and then we can check what this values in this. So here it's 14.50 and this one is 14.50. Sometimes it's really hard to select this correct. So here it's 13.50. So we can change that also. So we had to go again this PCB and so it was one millimeter 
in wrong so i had to move this more there so it will be so that should be correct and i will save this and update 3d model so now we can see here it says 14 millimeters and then we can measure from here with that one and it's also 14 so now they are correctly and now i will add this text here so which is rx and which is dx first i will move this one here somewhere there and now i will add this text they are added from here document and or i can just uh, so it's t names so it's from this and then here is this text and i will call it rx i can place it somewhere there and that's not correct i will use this t names i will check what was here it's t names okay so i will add this text from here and use this t names layer and this one is rx so i will put it there and then i will add this tx somewhere here and then i will also copy this poles from here to somewhere here in the center and then there is one i have to move these wires a little bit here so i can set this whole center so here is this new version i have these holes here i also had to move this connector more here to left so now it all looks better here next i will test and try to code this pcb to work